Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, I got chance to interview some Ruby on Rails developer candidates for one of my clients, and I asked a lot of questions there. Okay, and I would like to share some questions here with you guys. So, if you know these questions, that will be helpful for you to while you appear in any interview for Ruby developer or as a Ruby on Rails developer, these questions will gonna definitely help you. Okay, and if you are not uh, trying to appear in any interview. still these questions are useful to know okay so the first question is difference between sub and g sub method in ruby or what are the sub and g sub methods in ruby so both sub and g sub methods are string methods where sub replaces only the first occurrence of a string or sub string with another one and g sub replaces all such occurrence okay and the g sub used for the global replacement where in the g sub the g stands for the global okay so sub will replace only the first occurrence of a given sub string and g sub will replace the entire all the occurrence into that particular given string okay now let's uh, look at this practically so let's just to any ruby file or you can create any ruby file so here i am creating a file and naming it as like uh, sub versus g sub so sub versus g sub dot rb okay and now in the sub versus g sub dot rb what you need to do that you just simply need to define a string and this string could be anything where you can try some uh, replacement okay so here i am taking like uh, i am in love with ruby okay by the way this ruby is only uh, link is only okay so i am in love with ruby now what i want to replace here that i want to replace the small i's with the capital i's okay but if i use sub method and as i said previously that sub will replace only the first occurrence of uh, any sub string into the given string okay so here you can see that this string has three i's like i and here one i in in and one i in with okay so what we can do here if we want to replace the i using sub method so uh, let's say put string dot sub and here we need to provide two arguments first is i and then another is the capital i here you can see it require both sub and g sub requires two argument the first argument will be the string or sub string that you want to replace and the next argument should be the uh, value that you want to replace with okay so here what i want to, that i want to replace the small i or lower case i with the capital i okay now save this file and if you run this program sys to the terminal and here you just need to write ruby sub versus g sub dot rb so here you can see that the output is like i am in love with ruby but you can see that it only replaces the first small i and keeps the uh, rest of the occurrence of smaller i's okay now if i want to replace all the i's with capital ones then what i need to do i just need to use the g sub method okay so here string dot g sub and then the same thing you need to provide two arguments one is the argument that you want to replace and the next one will be the argument that you want to replace with okay just use the puts here okay and just save it and now come to the file sorry come to the terminal and run this program and you can see here that in the next line or in the second line it has replaces all the i's with the capital ones so here you can see i am in love with ruby so first i is capital uh second i is capital and third i is also capital okay so this is how we can use the sub and g sub methods okay so now depending upon your need you can use any of uh, the methods sub and g sub okay but if you want to make global replacement then you must use g sub and if you want to make local replacement then you must use sub method okay so or you can say that these are used for substitute and the global substitute methods okay so this is this was the first question and in the next question i will show you that uh, how to recreate the flatten method okay because i asked uh, these question to lot of guys and few guys implemented this and few guys uh, getting lack of it so we will implement this problem into the next lecture okay so just try this at your end and till then thanks for watching this tata goodbye take care and stay safe